in order to get Contenta.js up and running, uh, you will need several things. First, uh, head to the Contenta CMS, Contenta.js GitHub project and uh, go through the, the readme. Uh, the readme has a, a cute diagram uh, explaining what are the things going on and uh, explaining why you would need any of this uh, like I presented in the in the last video so uh, make sure that you give this a small read but if you don't want to you just need to come here uh, do cl clone or download and probably just download the zip file because this project does not support update or upgrade paths. This is a fork and go uh, project because it's a sample application that then you customize for to suit your own needs. So download that, uh, have it in your in your local and uh, then we're gonna go and configure it. So I'm gonna close this tab. And uh, so I have Contenta CMS up and running in my local as well, have it running under cms.contentacms.local. Uh, so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna open the Contenta.js project that I downloaded. So uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, there is a config folder and there is uh, this is uh, the config Node.js module. Uh, and there is a default YAML, this is all the default configuration, and you can override any of this configuration in each of the environments. So uh, if I have configuration that only applies to the dev development environment, I could put it in here and uh, prod, etc. This is a common Node.js business, so I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, but what I want to show is that I want to override, I want to tell Contenta JS where my content CMS is and that's all the configuration that I need to do so as you can see have it here and uh, after that I just go to my command line and do yarn start oops yarn start and as I said this is uh, this is gonna spin several processes because uh, it's gonna use all of the cores in my machine uh, so it can be extra performant so now that this has started uh, and without uh, doing anything, I'm going to go to uh, to this URL, uh, which is where Content CMS has the uh, the JSON API server. Uh, I renamed this from JSON API to API in case you uh, you are confused. So yeah, the, you can do just any type of request as you would do like content CMS. We have uh, recipes and you can see how fast this this is. Uh, there's no no delay on on network and uh, everything is uh, coordinated very smoothly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh, you go, you configure in here and then you start the process and you can see here the different uh, configurations or the different settings that you can do uh, like for instance i said that uh, there is an http client to have that has uh, built-in caching so this is where you configure it you can use different cache backends like uh, for instance an lru um, in memory cache and and then you can also configure cores uh, to have different uh, to have different origin, the different allowed headers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, give it a look and experiment. And if you find something that doesn't work for you, open an, in, uh, an issue in the issue queue. And if you find a feature missing that you really want to get in, uh, just submit a pull request.